All right, shalom, ya shalala. Peace is all first and foremost. As always, I want to give all praises and honor and glorification due to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Mokakadash. Double honor to our elders, apostle, our great Muslim gems, who will walk in peace and blessings to the hopefully Lekakiam out there pushing his gospel, this doctrine of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, and righteousness. And to say within in truth and also shalom to the believers of Yahweh Shai, the men, women, and children, those soul that was created and preserved to receive mercy and salvation since the foundation of earth. And once again, to all Yahweh Shai for allowing us to be able to understand this beautiful gospel. Um, I just want to do a short lesson or a quick and low while and Uh, because uh, these are late. The Lord Yahweh is using them on the left hand side. Whether they know it or not, they're doing exactly what the Lord Yahweh wants them to do. And the Lord are using them to bring forth the terms of war. And in their sick, in their sick twisted mind, they actually think that they're going to be able to escape the destruction, whether it's uh, building down by uh, investing in um, underground deep underground military bases or, or whether they uh, choose to go up there in the heavens. You know, recently, this devil, Il Elon Musk, uh, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, what's the other devil name? Uh, what's the other devil name? They, they, they said they went to the, they went to the space. You know, what's, what's his devil name? Uh, Oh my goodness, I can't remember, I can't remember, remember his name. Uh, Brainson something. They said they went to the to the moon. They had a, a a race for going up there. You know, so they're trying to escape the wrath of Yahweh Shemeshah, but since it's gonna be for no avail, man. They they won't be able to escape the wrath of Yahweh Shemeshah. They're gonna uh uh be the first uh fruit of slavery, man. <clears throat> so let's go over the other courses on. Uh, the bunker builders preparing for doomsday. You know, the title says it all. It says it all. It says that for some, the current crisis is a dummy run for long-term lockdown. Across the world, luxury bunkers are being built by lucky few to survive calamity and collapse. And that's exactly what's coming. Calamity and collapse. You know, Apostle Toha coined this year, the year of turning up. So things are going to be more and more in your face, more and more evident, you know, just like the purge, you know, it's going to be like a survival of the fittest, man, you know, a, a, a dog eat dog society. Uh, when society collapse, people, when there is no law, people are going to do whatever they need to do to survive. That's what's coming. And it says, um, Nesto among Kansas confers in a landscape devoid of any noticeable natural topography, overted mound can be seen from a dirt road, surrounded by uh, by a military grade chain fence, in the shadow of a lodge when turned by a security guard and camouflage space the fence line with an assault rifle. If you look closely, you might notice what looked like a concrete pile box uh, box or perch on the top of a small hill flanked by camera what lie beneath uh, so like a, what lie what lies underneath is a bunker that is assuming unsell unsellable and to many unbelievable it says uh, to the outsider it looked a bit like a secret government installation and indeed, at one time it was, but this is not a bunker built to hide citizens or to protect the politicians who order its construction. It is an atlas. It is an atlas F missile silo built by the U.S. in the early 1960s at a cost of about uh, 50 million American dollar or 12.2 million euro and it says uh, it was one 
of the 72 blast hardened silo structure built to protect nuclear tip intercontinental ballistic missile with an ordinance of 100 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Nagasaki. Although it was one of the site, so like, although it was one, it was out of sight and out of mind to the to the aver, to the to the average U.S. citizen. To the average U.S. citizen, it play a crucial role in a geopolitical agenda of extension level significance during the Cold War, and that's exactly what it is, man. You know, so they, they're now using it, they're turning a nuclear silo into a, a bunker. Uh, they are preparing. Preparing for what? Preparing to escape. To escape. Who, who are they preparing to escape? They're preparing to escape Yahweh Shai because they know that Yahweh Shai is coming. Yahweh Shai is on his way. And you best believe these devils, they know it, man. He also has all kind of, all kind of, all kind of uh, uh, telescope to look into the heavens, you know, and he best believe he sees all kind of ships, man, all kind of UFOs, you no know, chariots out there, man. He knows that our Savior Yahushai is coming, you know. Uh, and he says, uh, matter of fact, I got a pre precept, man. Let's get some precept or quick. Uh, this uh, revelation, revelation. Matter of fact, before. Revelation. Let's go. Let's go. Jeremiah sixteen. Jeremiah sixteen. Uh, Jeremiah sixteen, verse fourteen. Sixteen, verse sixteen. Uh, Jeremiah sixteen, verse uh, of verse sixteen, and it says, "Um, uh, behold, I will sit for many fishes. I will sit for many fishes of the Lord." So right now, we are fishing, fishing for the elect. So those men that you see out there on the hiring hedges, guess what? When the fishing season, when the fishing season is, is, is over, they're going to turn into a hunter, man. Behold, I will sit for many fishers of the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after, will I sit for many, uh, so like, yeah. and, and they shall fish them, and after, will I sit for many hunters. And they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the hole of the rocks. And that's exactly what it is, man. These are underground uh, bunkers, right? That's uh, that's a uh, uh, that's where these elite plan to escape the destruction, man. You know, you no, know, they plan to escape the destruction, but the Lord Yahweh Shemesha won't allow it, man. He will he will not allow it, man, because these devils they got a they got a uh, a heavy a heavy judgment coming from them, man. You know, uh, uh, it says uh, and he reads uh. Uh, behold, I will send for many fishers of the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. For mine eyes are upon all the ways, they are not hid from my face, neither is the iniquity hid from my eyes. And that's exactly what it is, man. They can draw, they can try to build as many bunkers as possible. In the end, Yahweh Shemeshai gonna make his word uh, 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 come true by allowing the elect to go down there and get these devils, man. And get them. You know, because these devils, they have been creating all kind of chaos uh, in the earth, man. Now they now they, they want to escape the destruction that they're going to leave behind. You know? Let's, let's go to uh, Let's go to Revelation. Revelation six, Revelation six, verse uh, uh verse uh, verse fourteen. Revelation six, verse uh, verse fourteen. In the heavens, in the heaven, the party to get uh, as a score when it is all together, in every mountain and island will move out of the places, and that's exactly what it is. The destruction are gonna be so bad, so devastating. The Lord Yahweh Shimsha has to physically remove the elect from the planet. That's how bad it's going to be. You're gonna have earthquakes, tsunami, the island is gonna move from the places, man. 
You know, it's gonna be like a movie, man. That's how bad uh, the destruction is going to be. That's how bad the destruction of Babylon is going to be. Uh, verse 15 And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bond man, and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountain. And that's exactly what it is. That's exactly why they are building this, uh, this uh, 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 bunkers, man. Because they're trying to hide. They're trying to hide from, from, from their faith, from their faith, man, from Yahweh Shai. Because they know they're going to have to, 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 uh, to pay for, for, the, for, the, for the wickedness, for the wickedness, man. You know? And it says, uh, go back to it, it says, uh, and it says, uh, and said to the, and said to the mountain and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. And that's exactly what it is. They are afraid of the wrath of Yahweh Shai. You know? Because Yahweh Shai is coming to bring a heavy judgment to these devils. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? You know? You know? The scripture says, uh, uh, the, the righteous shall scarcely be saved. You know, where shall the ungodly in the sinners appear, man? And that's how, that's how, uh, 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 that's, that's how heavy the day of Yahweh Shemesha is going to be, man. You know? Uh, uh, go, let's go to Amos 9. Amos 9. Amos 9. Um, Amos 9. Verse 1. Amos 9. Verse, verse, uh, verse 1. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door. That the post may shake and cut them in the head, all of them, and I'll slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escape of them shall not be delivered. And that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. They think they're gonna be able to escape. You know, they think they're gonna have one over Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know, but the scripture says, uh, matter of fact. Let's get that real quick. Uh, Ecclesiasticus uh, 19, verse 23, I think. It's been a while. Ecclesiasticus 19, Ecclesiasticus 19, verse 23. Let's get that real quick. Ecclesiasticus 19, verse 23. It's been a while. Nah. I know it's an Ecclesiasticus. Uh, Ecclesiasticus Uh, it's been a while since I bring this one out. Ah, uh, because that's because, um, let's get that word quick. Let's get that word quick. Let's get that word quick. 23 verse 19. Ah, uh, Ecclesiastes, Sirach 23 verse 19. Such a man only fear the eyes of men. And know if not that, that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. And that's like what it is, man. The angels see everything. The angels see these devils trying to build up a, 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 a bunker or go into the atmosphere, try to escape the wrath of Yahweh Shai, man. No. The Lord's going to give his angels and his men... Uh, uh, the word to go out there and grab you, man, and grab you and put uh, put uh, put up uh, and put a chain around your neck, man. You're gonna do, you're gonna be the first first fruit of slavery, man. You know, go back to um, Amos Narvis too. It says, uh, though they dig into hell, you know, the hell goes into the underground, you know, into the earth, man. Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven. Then it's where I bring them down. And that's like what it is, man. You know, 
they're trying to, they're gonna try to go out all, all in the atmosphere using the the space station the space program you know uh, uh they have all kind of uh 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 what do you, what do you call it what do you call it they have a a, a kind of vessels going going up there you know this this elite of esos you know the Jeff Bezos the Elon Musk you no know, the lower the the lower uh luminaries they're gonna try to go uh 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 in the heavens to escape the Rafi Havashai you no know? it's on do they get do they dig into hell then shall my head take them do they climb up to heavens then will i bring them down so you devils are not gonna be able to escape man and though they hit themselves in the in the top of Carmel, i will search them and i will search and take them out and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea in the bottom of the sea then will I command the serpents and they shall bite them. So the Lord's gonna ain't no way you can hide the devils, you know. Even if you're trying to go in the in the in the sea with your uh, submarines, guess what? The Lord's gonna order Leviathan to come and get you, man. You you devils are finished, you throw. You throw, man. You're not gonna be able to put uh pull a phone off your house by shy, you know. You're just a mortal man. You know, and this is a, you know, as you can see, man, the, the article, uh, 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 speak for itself, man. Bunker builders preparing for doomsday, so they are preparing because they know that the doomsday, doomsday is inevitable. The third world war is inevitable. All hell breaking loose is inevitable, and they trying to escape, uh, escape it by preparing ways to, uh, to, uh, to, to hide, man. But it's hard for no avail, man, because ultimately prophecy gonna be uh gonna be gonna stay true, man. You know that's exactly what it is. So you know, so that was a quick lesson. <clears throat> that was a quick lesson. You know, Lord willing, it was edifying. I wanna give all praises and honor and a glorification due to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Bahashim Mukakadash. Double honor to our elders of also. Oh, great my son, James, whole world in peace and blessings to the hopefully Lekakiam out there pushing this gospel, this doctrine of Yahweh, Shine, Righteousness, and sincerity and in truth. Also, next time, Shalom.